So while everybody's all in this crazy flurry over what Cat Williams said about all these different comedians, uh, a lot of people don't realize how uh, far back the Kevin Hart and Cat Williams stuff goes. Oh, like their beef? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 they've had beef for a long time. Like Cat Williams really like, really probably believes that Kevin Hart's an industry plant. Wow. Really? Yeah. What does wow. that even mean, by the way? I hear people say this person's an industry plant. What does that mean? It I don't really you've know. Been, you, your, your whole career has been like laid out for you by a whole team, and then they constructed your oh, uh, rise Having to fame. I've done a film with old Kev. I didn't see any evidence of that. <laughs> <laughs> is there someone we could think of that is like typically, I guess, known as like an industry plant? It it's hard to prove. Time. I think it's hard to prove. People said that about about Taylor Swift mm -hmm. for a while, and then yeah. she just completely proved her talent to everybody and just smashed all the haters. Yeah, he's a Swifty though. For, for, Swiftie, for, yeah, for Kevin Swiftie. Hart particularly, there's like a thing. Uh, a lot of people really believe this too. That like when Cat Williams started to uh, kind of when he was like on the come up, and different producers were asking him to do different things, the more he would say no to things the more they were like, oh, we're gonna need a replacement for the opportunities that were meant to go to Cat mm. because he's not willing to do certain things. Mm. And so people believe Kevin Hart is that guy because Kevin Hart kind of did not come up in the scene of doing stand-up shows, selling them out, and then becoming a movie star. He kind of just like, like people are like, I saw him in Scary Movie 3, then all of a sudn next year he was in everything. <laughs> Really? Yeah, that's I, what they say. People I, say that, huh? Yeah, 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 I feel shit. like I I used to watch him on the early days of like Comedy Central when he would first come on, like when he was like an early stand-up. He was on um, Wild and Out a lot in the early. Yeah, even before right? Wild and Out, before he was popping yeah, yeah. on any movies, I remember seeing him do like Comedy Central Presents, like Kevin Hart. You're like, who oh, the fuck is this dude? Yeah. You know, like back in those days. I think by then, I think that's the thing. It's like he's already that's already pretty then. high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, it's just like what Cat was saying. He's like, I there's no photos or videos of. People standing in line at a sold-out Kevin Hart stand-up like night. My yeah. argument to that would be so I don't know what's like what's right or wrong or facts or whatever, but my argument to that is, if comedians don't have the talent, they can't hold the room. Yeah. So if someone like if you've never done a 1,000 person show, 4,000, 5,000, mm. then you give them Madison Square Garden, they're not gonna be able to rock that and sold-out show for every single weekend. And I've been to a couple Kevin Hart shows, and he fucking he rocks it, rushes it like a rock star. He's inarguably yeah. Yeah. <laughs> great. There's no way if he doesn't have the chops to do movies and then randomly do stand up. But his entire set is industry scripted. <laughs> There's that whole thing about, do you guys know the whole thing behind like when Dave Chappelle was explaining that uh, producers were asking him to put a dress on for a, a scene and he was like that's like a known oh, thing for a lot of black comics yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 that's like a um, like yeah, a lot of people view that as like almost and like Eddie a said, yes yes mode. i'll do it yes <laughs> <laughs> and then um there's a there's a part where kevin hart's being interviewed about the dave chappelle interview yeah and kevin hart's like yeah uh i don't think you would you should try to uh he's like saying you shouldn't sacrifice your own um, whatever your morals are, whatever. But he's not explicitly saying he wouldn't do it. Yeah. It's more like he's explaining why Dave Chappelle wouldn't do it. Mm. Sure. But he didn't actually explicitly say, I would never do that. So by the time Kevin Hart was on SNL and they, he wore a dress and a wig, a lot of people were like, oh, they had that like freaking, you know, Ooh. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? Like he's doing the thing, the I can't whistle. And then so they were like, oh look, he's doing the thing that he said he wouldn't do, but like mm. he didn't really say that. Mm. So that's what Cat Williams is kind of talking about in his interview that like, oh look, like uh, Kevin Hart said he would never wear the dress until he wore yeah, look it. Look at him now. Yeah, and look at him is now. Is Cat Williams kind of a little hater though? I, I think he's he just sounds like he has a chip on his shoulder. Yeah, like being yeah. a little jealous of, of like Kev's sure. success. But then the, the funny thing is, is like he he also has his own amount of success. Like yeah. he's he's he like, was the yeah. biggest dude Undoubtedly. ever. Yeah. He's like yeah. telling he was saying like oh yeah I'm not making eighty five million dollars last year but I'm making a million like uh, I don't I'm not in a position to you know. But I, dude I remember Cat Williams was so hot at one point and then he got beat up by the seventh grader. Yeah that's when I was <laughs> like you guys remember that I think we covered that shit. I don't here. even remember Bro, that. Bro that that, that seventh grader. Seven. Look, bro, I get it. Seventh graders are different That's nowadays. That's a move. <laughs> but that motherfucker choked out Cat Williams and, oh, like, shit. they were, the video is crazy. They're in, like, a, a fucking... Well, playground. But right yeah. before that, Cat was sick. Dude, he's still Kid funny as fuck. I still love him. Yeah, I like him oh, too. no, he's still, still yeah. But he did get his ass beat by a seventh grader. That's yeah, where he come back from. From anybody, So dude. I saw that two-hour-plus <laughs> podcast, you know, that everyone's talking about. Um, what I took from all of this is someone who's able to finally like tell you the behind the scenes yeah. that we were all kind of like 
questioning like what's going on here with this and that and then and he's always been real about it but also i see him as a purist and some people that only care about their skill they don't really like people that take other pathways to get famous or not the right? game because the thing that yeah, he emphasizes yeah. is like you're not a stand-up you're a host so like if you're not a legitimate stand-up why are you going out there speaking for the rest of us mm -hmm. and i think that was his biggest quarrel with most people is steve like harvey right steve harvey he's a host Cedric. He's, he says that these people i did not see you do the circuits i did not see you do all these things that we did so i'm like okay in that case it makes sense it's like hey this guy's a legitimate sword maker he spent his life he went through this or like a black belt in jujitsu right you have all these other guys claiming i'm a black belt too but then it's like well what school did you go to right so i think when i heard his talk it sounded like that it was like this is the art of stand-up and then he's kind of a purist and all these other guys they're it's a facade have you guys seen the stand-up bits that he was talking about, Catwoman was yeah, talking I about? Yeah, I've seen them all. With, so, with uh, I think, what, Steve Harvey? I saw that one, that was dude, crazy. Yeah, it's really close. The Cedric the Entertainer one, yeah. the Steve Harvey track. one, is word yeah. for word, bro. Like, they, they stole, stole, they stole, stole who are you talking about? They stole from Mark Curry, he was a comedian that Cat Williams was talking about, and they did a side-by-side, -side, I think, with Mark Curry and uh, Cedric the Entertainer. Well, they joke stole a lot of Cat Williams' Bro, material, and oh, then they gaslit him like that never happened. Like a lot of the top right. guys that made it to like mainstream success, they stole from the guys that like are actual comics in grinders. Yeah, yeah, the actual yeah, yeah, yeah. like grinders. I, maybe a headliner or they, they something. Were, they were taking their closers. Yeah. Yeah. Where it's like really awesome. set up yeah. and punch. And there's a guy that edited too. Like you can see the actual video that they're referencing. You can see the original video of Cat Williams and other comics. And you can see Cedric the Entertainer. You can see Steve, Steve Harvey. Harvey. Especially it's, yeah, dude. Dude, Robin even the physical part yeah. of it. Like Robin yeah. Williams would do that yeah. shit. Yeah. 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 So here's like just focusing on the Kevin Hart thing is what I want to do because <clears> that <throat> his uh, one of his responses just came out. Kevin Hart. Yeah. Uh, I said it, and this this sums it up well. Like you don't you don't entertain the circus, you watch it, right? And when a lion comes out and rides the bike, you don't think about it too hard. You just go, okay, that's crazy. The lion's riding the bike, and then you go home and enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, I don't feed into the stuff at all. At the end of the day, it's it's all entertainment to a certain degree. So you just hope that people can be smart enough and have a tremendous amount of logic to just go and possibly do research or fact check. And if they do, then great. If they don't, then two dose of that as well. Uh, I just don't have the time for it. There's too much going on. So to your point, while marketing and promoting a movie, uh, I think the biggest priority for me is getting my fan base to understand how excited I am about the work that I put into this. Because that's where my focus is, is getting eyeballs to the thing that took me about four months to shoot. You need to to the promo. Uh, even longer. That's good, he's a professional. He's an industry plant. He's, yeah, dude. He's good. Hollywood. He's he good. He, say, he, he knows how to speak this. In the past, he's, he's even cooler in person. He's... <laughs> <laughs> past he's had other interviews where he really like goes in on cat and like talks about him now it's interesting because he's he's really like refusing to yeah. even acknowledge it yeah wow. yeah yeah but he's had some pretty long like this is back this time it's it's just not that so it's kind of it could be he's like just rising above it all and he's like building companies and movies and he's like i don't even want to deal with this bullshit yeah, yeah his focus seemed different he was asked about about what cat thought of him he said a bunch of shit about how like yeah cat was given these opportunities and and he he was the one that blew it because of his addiction or because of his thing and then cat was like i'm not even on drugs there's no record of me mm. I, like they it would be pretty bad yeah <clears throat> But I feel like Kevin Hart nowadays, like, yeah, he's always gonna be a stand-up in our eyes, but I feel like now he's, like, transcended that. Like, he's just, like, he, yeah. I, I look at him like The Rock and shit. He's know? a household yeah. character yeah, and, like, and everybody's, yeah. Yeah, like, like, Jim Carrey, too, like, he he basically gave up stand-up and just did movies after that. Yep. Yeah. Like, yeah, he became kind of like actor. the Kevin Hart path. And now a painter. You know what's mm -hmm. crazy? We actually do have a, a connection with Kevin Hart. You know Walter Hong? Yeah. So Walter used to be in the same sketch group as Kevin Hart. Wow. Back in the day, and then Walter, uh, he used to host Chocolate Sundays at Laugh Factory. Oh yeah, and he was like the he just like he was like the talent that Kevin had was so undeniable because they would have like B or C grade scripts, and when Kevin took a hold of the script, it just became infinitely more funny. Oh wow! So okay. just even from like 15, 20 years ago, he was like he just knew like 
this guy isn't gonna stay in my sketch group for long, and he's just gonna transcend like whatever. Wow. Of course, happening. Walter's gonna say that. he's an industry plant too. That's true. <laughs> Walter is the yeah. biggest. So that means you guys be the have, first to tell you. You guys have yeah. two connections to Kivar. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How could you fucking say that in front of the Also, screen? it's like one of those things that like if Kevin Hart's really making like eighty-five mil or some shit a year, and like Cat Williams making like a mil, of course he's gonna be sitting there like. Yeah, I don't got time for this. Watch my movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know exactly. what I mean? Yeah. Use the attention. Yeah, that's true. Turn but it I into do, my movie. I do like the interview because he does share a lot of like behind the scenes stuff. And what I like about it is it does feel like during his whole career, Cat Williams, like whether or not like whose morals are what, Cat Williams stuck to his guns of what of how he wanted to, in his own words, like protect his booty hole while making it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Which I think is cool. Where I think a lot of times you, it's it's easy to get tempted and go, oh maybe I'll do this, and then eventually you find yourself in a certain place. But then you're like, fuck, I had so much of my own self sacrifice I had to do to get there. Mm. Kevin Hart doesn't exactly seem like a miserable guy. <laughs> 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 and he did explain about the dress. He was like, I thought it was funny. He's like, I read the script, yeah. thought it was funny. He's like that can also be true. Very true. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, as long as he wants to do the bit, right? That's all that really matters. And as much as people like, there's a <clears throat> large uh, group of people that are perpetuating this idea that like that putting black comedians or black actors in a dress is a way to like racially, it's like some kind of attack or some kind of like- Emasculate. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. but it's like there is a <clears throat> even bigger list of just everybody does that shit for comedy. It's just kind of funnier yeah, to be a girl. Mrs. Doubtfire, yeah. Eddie Murphy like has houses because he did that Chu Wong Fu. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah. yeah. The whole thing is about that. So, I mean, yeah. it's not isolated. It is a comedy thing as well. Maybe they're both true, who knows? But hey, you got Kevin Hart's number on your phone? You know, like, uh, You should call him. Hey, we're on WhatsApp. <laughs> <laughs> See if he's online right now, please. Yeah, yeah, I think he is. 